Well, the best features of this uh, vehicle are, sure. are, are probably its uh, environmentally friendly uh, ecological plastics, for example. We use plant-based plastics to develop things like uh, the trim here. Uh, so we save the petroleum uh, and use plant-based, which is a renewable resource. Now, it wouldn't be a Lexus without some serious technology available. So, look for driver monitoring camera, a lane departure warning system, a remote interface for dashboard systems like climate control, navigation, and the audio package. We found the HS250H drives more like a traditional midsize sedan than expected, with passing power on demand and a brake system that can stop without protest. The interior carries many familiar touches, as well as redesigned front seats that are curved to create more legroom for rear seat passengers. As for the exterior, the Lexus influence is obvious on the rear, while the front end is similar to a Ford Fusion, but that just may be a coincidence. The HS250H occupies a segment by itself, since it's not a gasoline vehicle adapted to hybrid use. But the question Lexus may want to ask itself is, will it be lonely, or will other luxury automakers try to give it some company? This is Greg Morrison. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.